cool down a bit. <laughs> All right. I'm going to head back to my base where things don't blow up accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. Things still, are coming out. Yeah, I still blow up plenty of stuff on purpose, but just not in my base. Now, I got some actual work I wanted to do. Yeah, man. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. Uh, I'll stay in the in the, the, the thingy okay. if you want to uh, come by later. Yeah, I'll yeah. hop back. All right, sounds good, man. All right. Enjoy. See you later. Later. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, that was armor time, blowing things up. Actual work, right? Yeah. Um, actual things I wanted to build around the area, like... Um, I had a couple of thoughts, I guess I should say. I don't really know how well it's going to turn out. Can I not place? Right, because they're too high. Um, <clears throat> I had a couple of thoughts for, like, my... Oh, you know what? I need to get this up, or get these placed before I forget about them and stash them somewhere. A couple of thoughts about my takeoff pad for flying back toward town. Or actually just flying in general, it would be nice to have more done on that. I also need to remember exactly where it was that I climbed up into the trees to get to it. Because that was a few that was a few episodes ago and like a month ago in real time. So it was one of these trees that you climb up, I think it was this one, to get to the top of the tree. So we'll have to set up like a whoop. I know it was this tree, because it's got my too high stairs going through it. We'll have to set up like a fan system or something eventually. I just don't think I can afford fans at the moment. I know it's this tree. Dang it. Here we go. Because this is ridiculous, doing it like this. Here we go. Here's my glass over here. So... First of all, the glass needs to be highlighted with something, and I don't have any, like, decorative blocks on me right now. Um, so, I don't know which blocks exactly, but I wanted to do something kind of brighter, maybe tourmaline. I don't have a lot of tourmaline. Um, we could probably highlight with this. This isn't terrible. Of course, I don't have a lot of iron either. Oh, the tourmaline. Yeah, no, that looks ugly. I don't want to do that. Um, these siltstone walls are kind of terrible, but as just like a, a landing, like a ring around the thing, we could rotate them so they're on their sides. Um, and then maybe just put a cap of bedrock. I can't remember exactly how white the white is, because the white in the bedrock is really freaking white, but the siltstone, I can't remember for sure. But the pattern is just obnoxious enough that you'd be able to see it. World of Warcraft. Thanks, Shocker. I appreciate that. You, your, your puns are, are not welcome here, buddy. How you doing, man? It's been a while. It could be my channel title. <laughs> oh, terrific. Um, so let's actually track the siltstone walls so that I know what I'm looking for. But I think I need to go underground and start grabbing some crap. Um... And also, you know what, now that I think about it, let's, that's not the fan, that's a lantern. What am I doing? Machines, fan. Comparison gates, here's the fan. <clears throat> let's track the fan, too, just so I can kind of have an idea. Try LED lights. Um, that's a good idea. Make use of the new blocks. That's a better idea, actually. The color can also be configured. Oh, they're so much cheaper, too. <laughs> That's not a bad idea at all, actually, Daywalker. Welcome to the stream. Um, heck, I could probably even put a beacon. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here, yeah, yeah, let's try the LEDs first, actually. That's a much better idea. So, such a good idea. Uh, let me pick these up, this outer ring, so we know exactly how many we need. 16. Uh, let us unfollow the siltstone, disgusting siltstone wall. Click it, please. Thank you. And get out of here, and 
See if we can fly down to the ground. Whoa, what happened over here? Did I do that? That definitely looks like TNT. Did I do that? I don't remember doing that. Dang it. Where am I currently? I am standing on in this one. It's almost like... It's almost like somebody... But it's like it blew up right along the edge of the thing. Like, because this is the edge of the claim right here. This is a new one. It's like somebody blew up the, the TNT and didn't have permission to use TNT on my claim. Yeah, I don't remember doing that, but it's possible I did. It just, I don't know. I don't know. LEDs. Right. Uh, let's track the LEDs also. So I just need coal, it looks like. Cool. Uh, in here, probably? No? Because that would make sense. Here we go. So I need 16 of these. So, two, four, six. They're not crafting because I don't have any stone slabs. <laughs> okay. Can always use more stone slabs, so we'll just make a bunch. Uh huh. Got some here. Four, six, eight. Uh, oh, there was some more glass. And now let's try to remember where I put the sand. Not an old junk. Old junk is. Stop pressing the wrong button, War! Jeez! I probably should get around to... putting, like, a, uh... a door on my, on my base. I just... Alright, screw it. How many do I have now of uh, the LEDs? Ten. I need uh, three, uh, six more. Man, numbers are hard. Six more, so three more recipes. So we can actually put this glass back, because three glass isn't going to do anything since you need four for the recipe. Huh. Where? Here we go. Okay. Two, four, six. Beautiful. Sixteen. Perfect. Okay. Let's head back up there. This is not the way up and see how this looks. Also, wasn't that a Night Pigsy? Night Pigsy. How the hell are there Night Pigsies when it's daytime? I don't think there's a cave. Oh, there is a cave. There's a little offshoot of that stairway <clears throat> where I used to, uh, or what I, where I used to, not used to, but what I used to buy or to look for coal, man, I cannot word right now. Like everything that comes past my lips takes like four or five stumbles to actually get it out. Okay, here we go. Now, if we did rings around them like this, let's see how obnoxious this is doing the entire thing. But oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Um, You can't, uh, you can't even shift place it against another light. So to get the corners, I'm going to have to do this. Huh, that's interesting. Because I thought they added uh, shift clicking, but apparently that's only for things with inventories. Okay. So I think you need a wiring tool to change the... To change the uh, receive. I haven't used the wiring tool a whole lot. So here we can alter the colors. Um, this will show us. Sweet, that's nice. Okay. So if we wanted it to be, I don't know.
something that you could see clearly because the idea is you take off like this you use up all of your boost and then somewhere over here oh it's right here see I couldn't see it because no uh, there we go because no no ring around it or whatever but if it's over here Oh man, that is still kind of hard to see. Well, it's easier, but it's still kind of tricky. <clears throat> all right. Let's try going all blues in the corners. Save, please. And then turn that on. And see how that looks. And then maybe we'll just turn all the rest of these on. Just something to really stand out, right? I have no idea where that other platform is. I don't even think I went toward the platform. No, it's over there. It's... <laughs> it's on that one. Okay, so you can, whoops, you can, I don't know what buttons I'm pushing anymore. You can definitely see this. There is no mistaking at all where this thing is. I could probably even pull out a couple of the blocks or a couple of the LEDs so that we could cut down on this. Uh, like this one here probably doesn't need to be there. Whoops. Uh, like this. And this way we can kind of, I, I don't want to say cheap out on the materials, but that's exactly what we're doing. Um, let's make sure we're actually facing north. So something like this. And this will all look prettier in the future at some point in time, I'm sure. Yeah, I can kind of see it down there. But now if I was looking around for like, okay, where would there be another one of those platforms? Oh, that's hard to miss, right? Uh, I could... But I could, I, I'm sure I could stand to make the white ones a little bit more, uh, even more than they are. So, yeah. I just don't really have much of a mind for how colors work together. It's not really my thing, <laughs> sadly. Um, blue and green? Is that good? But blue and green kind of, uh, like the green kind of meshes with the world. So that might not be so good. Blue and red. Hey, T-Dubs, how's it going, man? Why are you uh, Bible thumping at me? I don't actually even know what that emote's supposed to mean. Never have. It's just, it's just Isaac. It's just Isaac being Isaac. So how does that look? Let's see how that looks from a distance. <clears throat> I got Shocker crying at me now too. Thanks guys, I appreciate that. See now that stands out. You can see that from far away. Blue and o blue and orange are complementary. Thank you, banana. I knew if I if I mess with colors long enough somebody who knows a thing or two about art would come by to tell me how wrong I, how very very wrong I was well yeah 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 blue and red are like these three the red green and or no red yellow and blue are the primary colors right so I want blue and orange how do I make blue and orange from these oh, shit from these these colors here okay there's yellow ish uh, that's kinda orange right can you not, like, fine-tune that? Whoops. So what was that, like 60-something? Right there? Are you going to change? Did I change something? No. Save. Become orange. Guy. That looks more peach than orange. 
Oh, uh, turn off my light. Yeah, there we go. The glare of my light. Add more red. Are you sure? Because that looks pretty freaking orange now. And the red is turned all the way up. But the uh, the glare of my light on the... Because uh, these things are still technically... God, I keep right-clicking to access the, the thing. The the glare of my light. Okay, this, this slider system here, playful, not good. It needs to be something else. That's just... Yeah. Now let's see how well we can see that from farther away. I'm sure it's going to be just as just as brilliant, uh, not brilliant like smart, but brilliant like we'll be able to see the crap out of it. Yeah, that works. That looks better than blue and red. It's not as obnoxious. Um, could probably even stick a beacon inside if I had the materials to build beacons. I'm not very wealthy when it comes to materials because I just haven't done a lot of mining. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Good call with the orange. All I have to do is hit the sweet spot on each one because I gotta have consistency with my colors or I'm gonna annoy myself. Like that would actually annoy me. Very few things. Like I'm not gonna get all, oh my god, my fake OCD. But that would probably just irritate me and I would be up here eventually doing it anyway. So make sure they're the exact same. There we go. Perfect. Then what I need is like a fan system to get up here. Uh, magnetite, obsidian, lumite. Crap. Have I gathered any lumite at all? I can't always seem to do that. <laughs> it's like the cheaty way of falling. I can hear my crops growing. Let's go feed the pets too. Because I can always... Oh, these are ripe. Oh, nice. Oh, these aren't. Okay. Uh, I need regular sandwich, and you're a regular sandwich. And what do you like? Regular sandwich. Fantastic. I need bread. Okay. And then for bread, we do vegetable and ingredient. I think... We want this as our vegetable, and this is our ingredient. I always forget. Cool. Because if you do this the other way around, and this is and the turnip is your ingre uh, ingredient, you'll end up making a turnip sandwich, which is not what these fools want right now. There we go. Make sure I don't eat them this time. Okay. And let's get the rest of this out of my life just for a second so that I can... You know what? I don't feel like dealing with this right now. Let's head down, uh, see if we can't find some Lumite. I need to make some more extractors. Thankfully, Armor Time gave us that bag of stone rods. And I should have some obsidian rods unless I used them all. Nope, gizmos. Oh, okay, wow. Uh, I don't even have obsidian cooked. What is the matter with me? Magnetite, obsidian rod, lumite. Okay, well, we're going to need a lot of obsidian rods anyway. Okay. And... I'm thinking what I should probably do is get some freeze bombs for all this. This is that was the, was that seriously the last of my coal? Man, oh man. Oh no, there should be. That was the last of my coal. Oh crap. Um. Do I have freeze bombs? I do. Okay. So what we'll do is because I'm going to need some coal pretty urgently actually. Do seven. Let me just make sure it's daytime first. Hang on. All right. Sure love being able to sleep whenever I want. Hint, hint. 
Now I should have coal or tar, I, I mean to say, in here. Wow, I have one frickin' piece. <laughs> Let's just do it over here, because that's where I've been doing it. Okay. Come on down, buddy. And let's make sure we at least get one piece. Let's get a couple actually to put back in our in our chest. Tar bread is really good for like feeding pets and stuff, so that's where that comes from. And then let's just huck this. There we go. Perfect. And we still got our tar up there, so I can actually if I could manage to throw my freeze bombs perfectly each time. I would get my, oh, you startled me. I would get my, my source block to refill this every time. I should probably do some calculations on that. This is kind of an effective farm when I look at it. I would just need to make sure that I couldn't hit that top block since it apparently isn't going to flow over. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let me go downstairs because I also need those obsidian rods to make more extractors. Um, what am I doing? I have a few extractors on me. So let's just get that taken care of now. Here we go. And I don't need to do that. I can just teleport down. Perfect. And some of this obsidian should be cooked. A freaking ton of it is. Excellent. Okay. And obsidian rods. Okay. Um, another thing I should probably do is get another another uh, processor set up. Oh! <laughs> get out of my stairway, guy. Okay, okay. Easy. Easy now. It's a good thing I'm on the air. There we go. Okay. He's dead now. Uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's dump all these drops that I've got for no particular reason at all. And let's throw this other bomb away. I'm not going to need more. I'll accidentally throw that if I don't. And I'm not going to need more um, um, coal at the moment. Two vines and I can make another... Oops. I can't seem to get my fingers to quit hitting the wrong buttons. Which is kind of irritating. I don't have this problem a lot, but I seem to have it in Creativerse all the frickin' time. And that's what I just built. Or what I just picked up. There we go. There we go. Perfect. I don't know why it is. I honestly do not. But when it comes to Creativerse, it's like my fingers don't want to press anything correctly. And then I have this extra... I'm going to just pop it in my gizmos chest, actually. For when I need to go do a project, and it never fails, I need forges, but right now I just don't really have a lot of use because I don't have a lot of materials, so. Okay. And now I put this in my favorites because even though it's right here at the top, that's kind of stupid now that I think about it. Let's unfavorite that. Because see, if I put something in my favorites, it appears at the top. Like, let's put the, the cowbell in the favorites. So it's right there at the top, which is good because you would actually have to scroll down to it, right? Now, if I scroll down to, say, here, now look at this, I'm at the Machines tab, and I exit this, and now I go back, I'm back at the top. So it's pointless to put my, my uh, Super Extractor there, because it's always going to be at the top anyway, unless my favorite starts getting really long. But more annoying is that if you scroll down, and then exit, and then go back in, you're back at the top. Do not like that whatsoever. I like that it keeps your thing over on this side, but I don't like that it, it scrolls you back to the top. You follow me on this one, guys? Am I right, or am I being, like, overly critical? Because it makes sense to me that it should hold your place in your thing. But then you can also see, like, look at the, look at the scroll bar over here. When you enter your crafting menu, see how it's populating the list? And then if you scroll down really fast, you can even... Uh, you can't scroll fast enough to catch it. I thought you could. No, you can't. I think, in my opinion, that's freaking broken. That's the point that I'm getting at here. I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I like the new UI. 
but I don't like uh, that thing about the scrolling. I think it should stay where it was. I don't, yeah. Do not like it. Okay. So this will give me plenty of coal for now. Perfect. And let's get back down underground. And I could even use a little hot tub, a little dip in the hot tub. I wonder if I should move this closer so that I can reach my machines. Okay. I really wish this cooked or this processed faster. I, that's something I'd like to see too, is a way to upgrade your machines. But uh, how many did that give me? Four? Really? Just four? Well, I want to go down. I need to start looking for Lumite. Um, so we're going to leave it as it is right now with just four extractors. I probably could have gone without placing more on the, uh, on the coal like I did. So, oh, jeez. Who built this place? Wow, I really, I seriously left a giant freaking hole there. I'm a moron, dude. Don't let me anywhere near your creations. Things will just get totally screwed up. And why are there no torches? You're telling me I came down here without torches? Okay, I can see some Lumite right there. I have a feeling some, like my chunks got corrupted, or not corrupted, but haha, <laughs> get it, um, got kind of messed up, and my torches got removed, because there's no way... I personally would have come down here without placing all these torches. So something happened and they got removed. I'm, I'm going to blame totally somebody who's not me for anything that might be my fault. Boy, that I sorry if you guys can hear that. Uh, oh boy, and I can't even go to the ground there because of the thing and the frickin' Miru. Oh, and then I missed the jump and did that. Okay. I'm kind of rambling because I'm panicking down here. Okay. This is what we want right here, this guy. Maybe we can find something good in here. We'll look later. Just one freaking piece. Uh, okay. I need to make better armor. Definitely need to make better armor. How long does this take again? Like six minutes? Three minutes. Why did I think six? Because you get six pieces. Oh, it's up in the ceiling. Okay. There comes a point when I've played uh, a world long enough that I think, okay, I don't need to panic all the freaking time. Clearly that hasn't come yet, because I'm still panicking with every little thing that I do right now in this world. Okay, was there just one here, too? Jeez, man, what is with this? Okay, that's fine. Also, I don't have any corrupted or corruption potions. Uh, corruption resistance potions. Oop. There's another thing. Oh my god. If only there were people around to help me fight these things. Like, literally, to help me fight the things. Or if you had projectile weapons that were worth a damn. Because last I remember, all the bombs that you can throw at these guys, they're, they're sucky. Uh, let's put some light. Because if this connects at all to my... Uh, if this connects at all or anywhere close to my pathway back up, oh, he's he's tracking me. Crap. If I can get him, actually, I might be able to, to wreck him. <laughs> oh, famous last words. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see here. And I'm getting kind of corrupted, too. And my mining cell is wearing out. What kind of mining cell is this? Is this a diamond cell? It is, yeah. Uh, I actually, I do actually need to take a trip to the surface. Where did he go? 
No way he fell off. They don't do that. I'm going to need to take a trip to the surface here in a sec, though, so that I can uh, get uncorrupted. Okay. So that's three Lumite. Uh, that one over there might be in a little better condition. Let's make a... Or might be... Has it been three minutes since I placed that one, you think? You think it took me about a minute to get to this one? Okay. Let's go for it. Don't mind me, Chizzard. Please don't mind me. Two, one. Perfect. Teleport. Everybody leave me alone for five seconds. Get the corruption off of me. Let's get over here. And put a block there, because I don't know where that thing went. And that worries me. And let's get that corruption out of my life. Okay. Whew. How much did we end up running away with? If I can press the right button. Nine. Okay, so that'll make me... Two, four, six... Eight. That'll make me like 16 fans. Click it, please. Thank you. I have two forges, and this is how I run things. Where did I get this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From that treasure chest. Okay, yeah. Good treasure chest, man. Uh, let's look at the other goodies that he gave us. I thought he had other goodies in his... The bombs. Uh, the lamps. Definitely love these lamps. I like them a lot more than the, than the torches. And once we spend more time down in the corruption... Uh, we will be collecting a lot more of those. Uh, these advanced extractors are garbage. In fact, anybody who's on the server uh, who wants any of the crap that's in here, <laughs> at any time, go ahead. This this old junk chest, I marked it to everyone. Right? I did. Yes, I did. So, yeah. Help yourself. I don't want any of that crap. Uh, put the bombs away. It'd be nice if more things drop gunpowder, but I understand. Uh, redwood walls. Okay, I apparently grabbed some of those already. I really don't really, really don't really, I really don't care much for these, just because of how bright they are. But they're not terrible, like, as an accent block. I can hear somebody. Oh, no. How did he get up here? I blocked that stairway. I totally blocked that stairway. I know I did. Oh, no. Oh, wow! Murder-suicide. Or, no, wait. <laughs> It's not murder suicide. Mutually assured destruction. <laughs> what a jerk. Murder suicide. Come on, war. Get your terms correct. What did he give us? Okay. Good good amount of corruption dust. How did How? I thought the mirrors were two blocks. I gotta safen up my base. Alright, so, Lumite, now we can make fans. Perfect. And we can make more extractors. Always worth it to have a ridiculous amount of these on. And I forgot that you can press control, or I think it's shift by default, to craft five. I gotta remember to do that. I'm not used to having handy shortcuts. So, okay. So now, uh, fans, fan, let's mark that as a favorite, because we end up using a lot of fans. Oh, we need obsidian rods for that, too. Well, that's just super. Let's just hang out for a second. I'm going to go get some more coffee while we wait for the obsidian rods to finish. We're almost at that point where we can uh, where we can start uh, mining with TNT or the uh, the excavators I think I think we might need to harvest more gunpowder from fools let's see 
explosives. I haven't even built the first level of excavator yet. Let's see, yeah, the gunpowder cost, but you do get four of them. But these ones are worthless because they only take the topsoil off of things. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And from what I remember reading, you can configure fans now. Whoops. So let's, uh, let's try that. Boy, it's got a lot of things going on with it. You just right click to turn it on and off. Okay. Okay. I guess that's, that's all there is to it. What do we got here? Fans can be turned on and off with true false. Okay. Whoops. Quit. So, if you didn't want the fan running all the time, but I guess in most cases, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think why you wouldn't want the fan on. Uh, maybe mob farms, but I'm, I'm pretty sure mobs can spawn whether or not a fan is blowing. Like if you have your fan like this, I'm pretty sure the mobs can spawn on these these blocks in front of it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we might come up with a, a situation where we wouldn't want that running. Always need more of those. Okay. So... The idea is that we walk into the tree and the fans take us all the way to the top. What is Q? Do you see this? Right down here, it's got a 1 by it. Is it saying how many of my favorites I can craft? No. Oh, it's saying how many of my tracked recipes I can craft. So let me untrack this. No. What the heck does that mean? Why does it have a one? <laughs> what does that mean, man? Okay, this is where things get interesting, is trying to control the flow of the fan. Uh, in a specific direction for a specific amount of time. How thick is this tree? Yeah. Put this here. We might have to kind of rebuild the tree so that when we dig into it like I'm about to do, uh, it doesn't look like it's just totally been... There we go. So then I can come into the center like this. Do I still have those lamps on me? I do. Beautiful. Your beautiful lamp. And if we go like that, I believe... Whoops. Oh, that's perfect. And now, how do you... You, you rotate like this. There we go. And... Turn that off. That doesn't seem to help with the light. Crap. I forgot about that. Well, let's do it like this then. Um, turn you off. Nope, you're on now. There, now you're off. But I can't seem to reach past you. Oh, I wanted to put the light here. That's not going to really... Oops. Am I not? Okay, screw it. Light goes here. We'll figure. I'll figure it out later. Because this, this looks terrible. But... Uh, I'm totally, I've, I've totally got an objective right now, so. So the way this works is you stand here. Some of the crafted block that lets through light, yeah. I knew it wasn't all of them, I can just never remember which ones, and I thought the fan was one of them. Welcome to the stream, Ganja Gamer, by the way. I can never remember, um, but that's not that shouldn't really be too surprising that I can't remember stuff about this game. Not to mention they do keep changing things. Eh, I can't really blame it all on that. Uh, 
So let's build this up like that. There we go. Oop. Just to kind of keep us within the, the thing. Okay. So then the way this was working is I'd go like, really? I gotta get this out of the way in order to... Oh. Oh. Well, that's not gonna work. But, that is the one where I want it, so we'll, we'll go like this. Now that you can turn the fans off, actually, I didn't even think about that. Holy crap, man. Yeah, I didn't even think about how easy this, this design is to build now that you can turn fans off. But the way I remember now, holy crap, the way that I built this before was I had to go up a bit and then I would place a block and, uh, and then put the, the, once I actually landed on top of the block, then I would place the fan. So then this one can go here. But that was back before you could turn fans off. Holy crap. My my world, my life has just been so changed. It's been affected so profoundly. <laughs> and... Oh man, this is the only problem with building these in trees, is if you want it to look concealed. And I forgot the back side. Pay attention to the back side. Give it a nice little pat and a squeeze now and then. Sorry. <laughs> right here. There we go. Okay. And it looks like I'm going to have just enough blocks to... Whoops. If I place them in the right place. And we can go down and test this. Now... I'll get it eventually. So now you can't really tell unless you're here. I'm going to have to go tear down a tree somewhere. But this should take me up to the top of what I've got so far. Alright, T-Dubs, that's enough out of you. We're almost at the top of the tree, but I do need to... I do need to... Uh go get more fans. Oh man, I'm going to need to spend some time in the hot tub too. You know it's bad when the moderators of your channel are giving you a lip. Um, please? Put in the... Why? Why won't you? What in the heck, man? My washer won't equip. Okay, I guess none of these guys are getting washed. Who hires these mods? Yeah, seriously. Come on, Twitch. Give me better mods. <laughs> Stacked stone walls. Okay, that's actually a good one right there. I use those a lot. Regular arc stones. Come on now. Regular arc stones. I'm getting kind of hosed on this, I think. Um, I, I am, man. I definitely am. I'm, I'm left-clicking and right-clicking and everything. Nothing is happening. Um, it's just the game being the game. It's a broken game. It's, it's still in beta, basically. Um, so we're not going to worry about it. I don't want to relog. Because I know relog and will fix it, but I don't want to relog. So, yeah. Not concerned about it. I'll deal with it some other time. Yeah, uh, it's I, yeah, it's definitely broke. It's been broke since... I don't know. I've been playing this game for how long now? A year and a half? <laughs> it's just everything about it is constantly broke. Oh, yeah. Death statue. So, I'm not too concerned about it because I know that the majority of things uh, can be fixed with relogging. I just am not in the mood to relog. That's all. Yeah. Well, um, I don't know if you guys are just stopping by on Twitch or if you've watched any of my episodes on YouTube, but I had one where I wasn't picking up uh, tar, 
and it turned out that and I, they actually fixed this one the, the the issue was that I was still I was on my my tool slot like can I equip another tool I was like I had been on my tool slot and then I unequipped my tool and you see down here how it switched back to my uh, mining cell but when I was picking up the the tar it was just disappearing because it thought the game thought that I was still on my tool slot yeah I can't equip any oh I can equip the hoe okay um, the game thought I was on my tool slot and so it was just instantly destroying the tar rather than picking it up and then when I relogged like a lot of the blocks because I had also done some mining uh, those had actually been replaced. I, it was a very, very bizarre situation. Um, it's one of those things like you, you, you see it and you're like, oh, come on, man. How is this, you know, a thing? But got to remember, and I, I, I am the biggest, you know, offender of this. Got to remember, game is still in development for all intents and purposes, you know. So could try crafting another one. Now, I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it. I'll just wait until... Uh, like when when I next time I log in or if I really for some reason need to get to those guys uh what did I just put a oh frick the lumite tell me I have one more oh no I have a bunch more we'll get four more fans that sh should be enough but yeah I'll I'll get to it eventually I'm not in a hurry obviously I've been working on this base for water yeah 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 picking up like yeah it's, I mean, it's a, I forgot to heal. It's a broken game. Um, it has been broken for a long time, but they do fix, they fix a lot of things. <laughs> I mean, they introduce a lot of bugs when they try and fix bugs, but they do fix a lot of bugs. So it's not really so much as a critic, so much a criticism as it is an observation. You feel me? Like, I'm okay with it. I accept it because it's an early access game still. Wait, is it? Did it come out of early access? I really hope it's early access for all the bugs that are in it. <laughs> come on now, heal up just a little bit so that I can go do what I was doing. How is everybody today? This is what this is hot tub talk now. It is fairly polished, yeah. No, I mean it, it really is. It's you know, they they do they do a lot of bug squashing and they do try to make it pretty, you know, my only objections is this crap. You know, the the giant disgusting glove and backpack and all this other stuff. I, this is probably my least favorite of the uh of the the visual changes that they've made. Seven days to die, man. I don't know. You didn't get the server running yet? Well, it'll happen. It'll happen. Uh, okay, so here's what we need to do here. We go for a little bouncy bounce, and then we do this. And immediately turn that off, please. Oh, I'm just placing more. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Uh, let's turn that on so that I can get these leaves here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me the leaves. One more. There we go. And let's just get right out here. And I think another fan here. And rotate this guy upward. And I think if I put another one here... There's going to be some momentum as well, so I'm not as concerned. Um, crap. You know what? Give me you. Well, no, that's that's dumb, War. What are you doing, man? We're up in the leaf zone. Get in the zone, man. Oh, wow. Um, and then we can make our walkway, or make a walkway. So, yeah. So we did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, let's just... Let's kind of do something like this. Um, but what we're probably going to want as well is a way to get down to the ground. So I'm going to want some teleporters up here. 
Thankfully, teleporters are a hell of a lot cheaper than fans. Um, what's that thing? Okay, the the hang, hang on, let me let me get up there. Uh, I'm gonna have a block in the way. Thankfully, you don't crap. Thankfully, you don't take. Uh, yeah, I could probably even rem remove uh, a couple of these. There we go. Oh! Okay, that's too much perpetual, or too much uh, inertia. Inertia, that's what we're... Okay, that shot me way too far. Uh, this is just a landing pad. The idea is... Um, like, the main town is up this way. Let me zoom out. Uh, straight north from me here. These are all people's claims, and you can't see any of the builds because for whatever reason... Um, <laughs> for whatever reason, the map is all foggy when you zoom in. But, yeah, like, this is this is all... These are all claims, like, back towards spawn. Like, spawn is, I think, in these chunks here. Maybe this one? So anyway, this was meant to be like a a sky road, more or less. So you would hit, uh, you would take off from here. And of course you can't see it because it's all just pure glass right now. That was where today's project came in. And you would hit this one. And you could wait for your boost to build up. And maybe I'd even put chests with some stamina boosting uh, foods. Or, do, is there a stamina potion? I don't think there's a stamina potion. I think stamina just comes in the form of food. Health regen. Okay, there is a stamina regen. I did not know that because I have never, ever used it. And so basically you would just keep hitting these all the way there so that you could more or less boost uh, fast flight like this. And see, by the time your boost runs out, you're almost to the next pad. And then you hit the pad, wait for your boost to build back up, and then take off again. Now, of course, if you're a scrub like Armor Time, you won't be able to fly. <laughs> uh, he's not watching. I only wish he was. So, yeah, and I'll pretty up this area, I think, a little bit. And we got to do something, like maybe just put a, a roof on this, or I'll do some calculations. Uh, stamina regen is newer. I didn't know that. Uh, health regen? Oh, you think both of these are newer. That's a possibility. I don't remember using either one of them. Because if I ever did use the health regen, like if it's not newer, it probably didn't regen very fast. So it's not really worth my time, in my opinion. I'd rather spam small health potions. And then, yeah, we're going to need a teleporter to get down. Because the op the alternative is this trick. Uh, which is to start falling. And then spamming G for your glider. And this is just, that's nasty. That's a nasty way of doing it. I'd like something a little more graceful. So, yeah. So let's go get a couple of teleporters. And how's our... Cool. Cool. Teleporter is probably another one I could stand to put in my favorites. Where are you? There you are. Obsidian slabs. You can eat melons for stamina? Seriously? I didn't know you could get stamina so easily. I thought that you had to have like a freaking pie or... Yeah, the horny melons. <laughs> How appropriate that gives that gives you stamina there. Horned melons, yeah. Grow up, playful. Come on. So yeah. That'll work. And we got enough of these now. In fact, I can probably go and reclaim a couple. Uh the momentum that comes with um with fans needs to be measured. Uh I did that last season on that wild ride thing that I built up to the uh, the warm worm spawning spawning room um, it all has to be measured I, it's just 
it's it's boring like the kind of work that is boring enough to do on stream because it's like well I could do this for an episode but then the episode won't come out until so much later because what was I doing I was building this oh I need six of these damn uh, the episode won't come out be until later because I need a lot of them but uh, yeah no I've got I've got uh, melons growing I've just been harvesting them I haven't been uh, you know, actually, while we're waiting for this, let's go look. I've just been harvesting them. I haven't been using them. Oh, it's almost night. I'm too much of a wuss to be out during the night because of just dealing with bad guys, you know? I got a lot of work to do around here. I have got 20 of them. You're right. 10 max stamina. But they don't stack. Right? Like, I eat one, extra stamina. If I eat another one, I think it's just going to turn the timer back to, yeah, back to six minutes. So, they don't stack, so... And that's not, like, ten max stamina. It's like, bam, that's ten right there. I got about ten blocks, so... No biggie. But I did not know that. Thank you for that hint. Tip. Knowledge bomb, whatever you want to call it. Let's do a harvest while we're waiting on our slabs. And then we'll replant this. But yeah, I've been... I got my modest little farm here. It serves its purpose. Um, don't really need much where I am at the moment in the game. Not to mention, I, I'm still like holding out hope that... Uh, uh, holding out hope that they're going to improve both farming and pets at some point in time because in my opinion oh right that's broken in my opinion those are two things that are sorely underdeveloped and could be a lot better than they currently are oh let's go murder that keepa if we can find him oh you know what you know what would be tragic is if it was a golden keepa and then of course I wouldn't be able to tame him because because uh, I can't get my, my uh, cowbell equipped. Alright, screw it. Let's go down and let's grab... Oh, jeez. Sorry about the twitchiness. I never can get my... Uh, for this game, it seems like this game is the worst defender for me. I can't ever seem to get my sensitivity correct. And I just, it, it's just either overly twitchy or I'm moving my mouse halfway across my mouse pad to get anywhere. So, I have, I have problems. <laughs> um, uh, we'll just let that go. Okay. Where is my tree? Oh, cactus flower grew. So what we would want to do is, uh... This is going to shoot me so high in the sky. I just know it. Okay, so we'll be ready to, uh... To G. G's up. G! G! No! God dang it. Mm. Land! Land, you son of a... Crap. Okay. We need to fix this. <laughs> We need to fix this. Seriously. Ooh, a couple of warm worms. Uh, we need to fix this big time. That is unacceptable. Jeez, man. Jeez, man. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I only need one. And we'll just go to this one. This portal's code bedrock. I, I do need something to stop me up above. Um, I just... <laughs> I thought I could handle it, guys. Alright? My, uh... It, it, was, it was hubris. That's what it was. I was like, nah, nah, I got this. But uh, I do need something to stop me up above. Okay, let's try this again. Let's be a little bit more prepared for it. There we go. If you fly immediately, you go to here. I need to build, like, a bigger leaf platform or just a 
bigger platform in general. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to make this ugly thing here. And that should allow you to just bounce up and then eventually walk off. And then right over here, like this, this, all this leaf crap will eventually go, right? Uh, this will teleport to bedrock. Whoops. Okay, and this portal's code is not that. I don't, I don't. Come on, game. A little bit of cooperation here. This portal's code, I guess, will be glass. Um, I don't intend to be able to teleport up here. That's kind of the point. But then once you're up here, I want to be able to get into the base real easy. And that's why it comes to here. Let's go try that one more time. And the reason I don't just, you know, the reason I don't just have a teleporter straight up to the top of the tree is this is a hell of a lot more fun. <laughs> I just need to measure this out. And I shot right through it. Okay. That bug is still in the game, so that's nice to know. With enough momentum, you can shoot through anything. I need to measure that out and fix it. That's just... Need a few cool treetop places. I did... Um, I did make a... Uh... Oh, look at this. When did this happen? My, uh... Uh, my, uh... Washer got equipped. Exit, or... But it won't shoot. What? Yeah, I made a treehouse last season. It wasn't like... It wasn't like anything special, I guess. Uh, it was kind of toward the end of the, the season, or the end of when we were playing. How, I don't know how this got equipped, but here we are. Fix your game, playful. But, uh... That is something that I, I do try to, uh... Uh, I, I do try to do every, every, uh... Every season, as I try to build a treehouse. Even if I only get, like, the plans worked through in my head. Well, that was weird and kind of rude. And I need to get things planted... Press the right button, War. For the love of God. I need to get things planted because we are... Happened when I collected my death statue. Okay. Good call, guys. Uh, Daywalker, good call. I did not think about that. Right on. Okay. Yeah, I think in my second season, which was my sing uh, my last time. La la wow, words. The last time I played single player, um, I had grand a grand vision to build a tree house, and I think I ended up putting some slabs on top of a tree. It looked terrible, and then I abandoned it forever and ever. So yeah. Wow, they're ready to eat already. You guys are insatiable. This is ridiculous. Whoops. Not mushrooms. So, yeah. I, I always have these plans for things that I want to do. But then things that I do end up doing, um, I think last season was the only time I actually followed through on the majority of my plans. And then it got to the point where I was just kind of puttering around, building little fan gizmos, things blowing me around the... Oh, this would be a great place for, for this. This is, this is why I love this block. It's just it's such a great stair. Or floor. Stair. Jeez, war. You need to work on your words, man. And then up here doing something kind of kind of random, I guess. I, I need to I need to make some path blocks for those. And then what we need, because of course they're too wide, but we do need some light in this area. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 
I'd like to tame a thing, but I'm far too chicken to go spend a lot of time in the corruption. This is my armor situation here. Diamond, uh, two pieces of diamond armor. So you can basically just kind of push me over <laughs> and I'll die. Um, okay, I think that was about what I wanted to accomplish for today, actually. And I've got to get ready to go do some other things, like in real life. Um, soon, like real soon. So I need to actually uh, get ready for all that. So I'm going to call the stream there. I appreciate everybody coming by, and I do appreciate... Yeah, the hot foot... No, the hot foot is really good for the gunpowder. I agree with you there, too. Um, but what I typically end up doing is building a, um, a room made out of, like, lava layer blocks to get both the warm worms... In fact, let's go kill these guys if they're still here. Um, to get both the warm worms and the hot foot spawning. Somebody taught me about this trick. This is the greatest trick ever. Um, <laughs> and and I just go in there to get my uh, my gunpowder and my warm worm teeth. Okay. Oh wow, there was two spawned on top of each other. <laughs> Lorgon, I love how the stream ending is your cue to go exercise. That is just terrific. And tourmaline, that's the other big one. Um, and whoever taught me about that trick there. I am very sorry, I don't remember your name, but that is freaking amazing and cheaty, and I will never stop doing it. Um, well, having a hot foot as a pet is still good, because I, in when I build those kind of spawning rooms, I always get more warm worms than anything else, so you're, you're absolutely right. Uh, but yeah, okay. Wrapping it up for reals this time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate uh, everybody coming out. Hope you had a good time. I know I did. We'll try to do more creative verse in the near future. I actually got inspired lately, so I have a few things I feel like I need to build. Uh, so we'll be doing that if if I can remember what they were exactly. <laughs> I brain fart quite frequently. All right, leaving for real. Stream over.